Let's talk with Rick Edelman. He's the founder of the nation's largest financial planning firm, now the founder of the Digital Assets Council of Financial Professionals. He's author of a new book, Out Shortly, The Truth About Crypto. Rick, in your 2022 predictions, you say one-third of American adults will own Bitcoin by the end of 2020, uh, 2022. What's going to cause that kind of mass adoption, given the declines we've seen in the beginning of the year? Well, we're already at a quarter uh, of that number, uh, Bob. So we've got 24% of Americans already owning Bitcoin. It won't be that much of a stretch to see us get to a third. And it's because Bitcoin is becoming more and more mainstream. People are hearing about it everywhere. It isn't going away. We're seeing governments, corporations, foundations, pension funds, all investing with major institutional involvement. And this is going to encourage a lot of investors to pay attention to their investment advisors who are also increasingly getting involved. This is going to become as common in the next couple of years as any other uh, portion of a portfolio. You know, you are uh, bucking the trend uh, of almost everyone in the ETF business uh, on Bitcoin. You say that the SEC is going to approve a Bitcoin ETF in 2022. Most of the industry say that you will, they will not approve it. You're a decisive minority on this one, Rick. Why do you think there will be a Bitcoin ETF in 2022? What will change the SEC's mind, considering they've turned down every application for a Bitcoin ETF so far? Well, it's, it's a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek. I've been making that prediction every year for seven years. One day I'm going to be right. And the reason that I'm, hom uh, that I'm hopeful that it's <laughs> going to occur, if not in 22, then in 2023, is because the SEC is running out of excuses to say no. A lot of the concerns they have have been resolved by the industry through their own maturity and innovation and development. And I'm confident that we're going to see the SEC say yes, because there's really no legitimate reason for them not to. We need the SEC to say yes for consumer protection, because without an ETF, consumers are going elsewhere, often getting involved in frauds and other schemes because they can't get the product via a financial advisor. The SEC is going to say yes because they're going to realize this is a step toward consumer protection. Yeah, and Gensler says he needs a lot more control, regulatory control over the crypto space before he's really going to act on that. Now, we're going to talk about that much more on crypto in 2022 with Rick, including his call on what other countries might adopt Bitcoin as legal tender in 2022. That's coming up on ETF Edge, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Rick will be joined by Matt Hogan. He's the CIO of Bitwise Asset Management, one of the great ETF experts in the country. He runs the Bitwise 10 Crypto Index Fund. That's ETF Edge, CNBC.com. Halftime back right after this.